Hello and welcome to linuxjobber.com. Uh, my name is Joseph Shomunmi and I will be walking you through this video today. This video will be talking about what is Linux. If you are already familiar with Linux or you are an advanced Linux user, you can move to the other videos. This one is just going to be explaining what Linux is to those who don't already know what Linux is. So, Welcome and let's go. Linux itself is an operating system that people are familiar with already. So if you look at the video, if you look at the image, you can see that Linux is an, op uh, it's an operating system just like Microsoft. If you compare Linux with Microsoft, you will find out that um, there are plenty of similarities. So when so when those who don't know about Linux already hear about Linux, they sometimes get intimidated. Don't get intimidated. This is just another operating system, just like your Windows XP or your Windows Vista or your Windows 8. Linux also has versions just like Windows and um, it's, easy to, it's easy to use if you're going to use it as a desktop also. That's if you're going to use it as your regular machine. But because it's not very popular and there are not so much, so much software on it, it's mostly used as a server and not as a desktop, even though some people um, who are very familiar with computers use it as their machine which, with which they access the internet and do many of the things they, they would normally do online. So um, this is a typical Windows desktop, this is what you will see when you, or similar um, the, uh, uh, image you will see when you log into your Windows machine. This is, I think, a Windows XP machine, and um, this is what you will see as a regular desktop. Um, this is the Linux equivalent of it. If you look at this, it's very similar to what you will have on the Windows side. The bars have been, the, the icons have been moved to the left. But you can also put it on the at the bottom where you find the Windows one. It does have the, the desktop. It does have the icon, uh, the the programs <coughs> program files where all of the file where you can find all of your applications just like Windows. So you can use it as your regular machine also if you want to get much more familiar with it. And you can you if you you. You can also access the internet with it. As you can see, it does have the Firefox logo, which is just another web browser, just like Internet Explorer. Um, it does not come with Internet Explorer, but it does come with Firefox, which will do the same job. And um, I believe Firefox is even more secured compared to um, Internet Explorer. So the question here is, with all, with as, as popular as Windows is, why do some people still desire to use <clears throat> to use Linux. Here's why. If you look at this image here, under where it says hardware, you can see that they both have they both run on the um, Intel chip. And um, it could be other chips like AMD also, but they just have this particular this kind of um, system. So they're built this way. So inside your there's a PC, and on your PC you install the operating system just like you would install Windows XP. You would install Linux also. The Windows side is on the left, it's on the right hand side, and the Linux side is on the left hand side. If you look at the image, and then on top of your operating system, you can put all of your applications like your desktop, like your um, Microsoft Word or Excel and um, your games and movies and everything you want to. You can do you can do it with both of them. Now, let's go to what's the difference and why do some people choose to use Linux? Look at the Linux on this on the left hand side. As a server operating system, it costs twenty dollars. The equivalent of it on the Microsoft side costs a thousand dollars. Anonymous web server is included in both operating systems. Web authentication is free on the Linux side, costs $2,000 on the Microsoft side. Mail server application is freely in included on the Linux side, 
but if you look at the Microsoft side it costs six hundred and eighty dollars mail user license you don't need a mail user license in Linux it comes free with the operating system for the Microsoft side with all the whistles and bells that's added to it it costs eight thousand dollars for the license the server operating user license if you're paying per user on the Microsoft side so it's three thousand dollars this is not needed on the Linux side it's a free operating system so obviously there is an advantage and that's why people use it now if we sum it up it may not look like much this little bits of thousand thousand here thousand there but for 100 users we're talking just twenty dollars for the operating system for on the Linux side but if you look at the if you look at the Microsoft side the same thing which is the operating system and the server and the services that you need to run a server you'll be spending approximately fifteen thousand dollars and when you get to about 500 users meaning as the user is growing Linux still remains twenty dollars the cost is just to pay the administrator to manage it which will also pay on the Microsoft side but for that 500 users Linux is twenty dollars Microsoft is already at about sixty thousand dollars now that's a lot of money so it's worth it for companies to use Linux on the back end the only issue is getting an administrator who knows how to do how to work with Linux to go do the magic in the back end so basically that's just a brief description of what Linux is our next um, tutorial we'll be talking about Linux basics and uh, how to go about it how to go about with Linux. thank you for watching my name is Joseph Shomunmi don't forget to send me an email if you ever need anything or you have ever had any questions concerning Linux. Please email me. My email is showpopulous at gmail.com. S H O W P O P U L O U S at gmail.com. Send me an email and I will gladly answer your questions. Thank you.